I'm Ron O'Malley. I am the uh, Iverson Chair Professor for Steelmaking Technologies at Missouri University of Science and Technology. I also direct the Kent D. Peasley Steel Manufacturing Research Center there. And of course, uh, and an AIST past president. Yes, so, yes. You. So you have worn a lot of hats with an AIST. Like you just said, past president being one of them, distinguished member and fellow, and more. How does joining the legacy of how Memorial lecture, lecturers compare to these other accolades? I have to say you're asking me a question that is kind of like, which kid is your favorite, right? <laughs> <laughs> because it's uh, really tough to pick, to be honest with you. But I have to say this latest honor was, first of all, quite a surprise to me. Uh, I was very honored to receive it. But as I look back through the legacy of that program, my advisor was also selected for this at MIT when he was there. And his advisor before him was picked wow. as a Howe Memorial Lecturer. So there's a, quite a legacy all the way back to Howe who himself, who actually got a degree at MIT. Wow. So, so I just look at that chain and then look at the list of names of people I've worked with, I know, and those past that have contributed so much. Uh, it's quite an honor. So I'd have to say this is a big deal for me. Yeah, so. very exciting and well-deserved. Thank you. And what are you most looking forward to about AIS Tech this year in general? Well, it's almost the same every year. Mm -hmm. I enjoy networking with the people, right? Yeah. I am now an academic, but I spent 30 years in industry before that, and so I've got a a huge network of people that I know in the industry and have come to know over the years. And this is a place I can come to, to see them, yeah. interact with them. We can strategize on what the industry needs yeah. and uh, you know, what the future opportunities are. Yeah. And so I really look forward to seeing the people more than anything else. Yeah, all about the connections. It Absolutely. really keeps the passion going. I think. Absolutely. Um, now, you've been quite involved in AIST's decarbonization efforts. Are yes. there any particular sessions or presentations you're looking forward to listening to on this topic? There are quite a list this year, and of course, I use the AIST app to find them. Yes. So, <laughs> and I can't go to all of them because I have some of my own programs I have to be you know, worried about as well. But there were some really interesting ones. Carnegie Mellon has an interesting one on redox reactions in hydrogen reduction mm -hmm. that I'm very interested in. Uh, Danielli had a really interesting one on control of NOx and hydrogen substitution in burner systems. Mm -hmm. I'm very interested in. And then there's, you know, there are probably six or seven others beyond that that, you know, I'm actually very interested to hear what people have to say yeah. about substitution of hydrogen into steelmaking. So. Yeah. It's a very hot topic right now. Yes, and it I think is. It's uh, no, going to be no shortage of that this yes. conference. Um, and last question for you What advice do you have for students attending AIS Tech this year? My advice to my students and others is to get involved, mm -hmm. present papers, volunteer to be session, um, you know, uh, what do they call the term for session the chairs, session chairs, yeah, and, chairs yeah. but, but also get involved. This is an opportunity while you're here to get involved and link in with the, uh, some of the technology committees, because most of the technology committees have meetings here. Mm -hmm. And so if you can step in and begin to get involved and interact with the technology committee, Absolutely. That is actually a great way to develop your own new networks in an area you're interested in. Mm -hmm. I mean, technology committees have always been the focus of my interaction with the AIST, and yeah. it's been really useful through my career. Mm -hmm. Now I try to give back. I do uh, teaching sessions for many of the AIST technical committees yeah. that, that you know, put on courses, short courses for, yeah, yeah. for people in the industry. Wonderful. Well, awesome advice. We're so happy that you had the opportunity to catch up with us and good luck thank in your you. presentation tomorrow. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, sounds great. Okay.